In the history of track and field, there are a few records that have stood unchallenged for years, defying every subsequent attempt to break them. One of these is the women's 800m world record, which has not only stood unchallenged, but no one has even got remotely close. In 1983, Jarmila Kratochvilova of Czechoslovakia set a time of 153.28. This record has remained unbeaten for over four decades, and the closest someone has got was Pamela Jalimo of Kenya, who ran 154.01 in 2008. But after her 2008 season, the fastest Jalimo ever ran was a 156. It is now the longest standard outdoor track and field world record. Kratochvilova was a powerful runner known for her muscular build and aggressive racing strategy. Before setting the 800m world record, she had also set the world record for the 400m a year earlier, clocking a time of 47.99 seconds. Her 800m record time has been the subject of much debate and controversy. The 1980s were a time when performance-enhancing drugs use was widespread in athletics, and many records from that era have been viewed with suspicion. Although Kratoch Vilova was never tested positive for performance-enhancing drugs and has always maintained her innocence, her record is often questioned due to the era in which it was set in. In an article from the New York Times, whilst working as an accountant and training for the 1980 Moscow Olympics, Kratoch Vilova sometimes ran beneath streetlights at 4am in the morning before heading to her job. At those games, even as a part-time athlete, she won a silver medal in the 400m for Czechoslovakia. She then began training full-time on a cinder track and forest paths. She sprinted in spiked shoes on a frozen pond when snow covered the cinder track in the winter, and she ran repeats of 200 meters while dragging a tire filled with various amounts of sand. To recover from surgery on her left Achilles tendon, she dashed through a foot of water in a pool, wore a weighted vest, and placed a gas mask over her face to restrict her breathing and raise her heart rate. Maybe these are the unconventional methods that are the secret. So, after 40 years, can we start to see an attempt on the oldest track and field record? Maybe. That looks to be down to Athing Mo and Keely Hodgkinson, both who at 19 years old ran 155 to place first and second in the Olympics. But that's still two seconds away from the world record. How can they close that gap? Firstly, because of their age, hopefully they both have long careers ahead of them and they have many years to progress and improve. Secondly, as we saw in the World Championships in 2022, they were separated by the finest of margins. The motivation to be each other will hopefully give them an extra edge to get faster and closer to that world record. Individually, Athing Mo has a split of 48.32 400 meters in a relay. That's not 47 second 400 meter fast like Kratoch Vilova, but it's still extremely quick, meaning Athing looks to have the raw speed to attack this record. Keely, on the other hand, has a 400 meter personal best of 52.24, but she recently broke the indoor 600 meter world record in a time of 123.41. With indoor races being slower due to the tighter bends and banking, this performance also opens up the possibility of Keely having the speed to attack the world record at some point. We asked Keely about this record and here's what she had to say. 153.28, that's the 800 meter world record at the moment. Now, whether it's clean is a completely different conversation with uh, so oh, much speculation I have no it. comment. I have no comment for that. I, was, I wasn't going to ask you. I wasn't going to ask you. But <laughs> is that a mark that you ever think about striving for in your career? Um, I definitely have had lots of conversations about it. Um, I like to say nothing's impossible, mm. but in my head, you kind of got to aim to run 152 to break that record. And that's still three seconds, three and a half seconds quicker than, um, than I've ran yet. And I definitely think it's very hard. Like, obviously it was in a very long time ago, which makes me question the legitimacy of it. But you can always hope, but I think it's something we definitely can get close to, but the technology and the science that we have and the new ways of training and understanding our bodies better, I think we could definitely get close to it. Like, I think 153 is possible. Um, 153.2, I don't know, it might take a very special day in a tailwind. To I'm break. Sure track. <laughs> to, yeah, yeah, it'll be on Monaco. Everything goes perfect, tiptoe shape, I think. So, yeah, you just have to have to see, but... I think the main thing is um, medals. 